Hey guys, Titanica1912 here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the first step in upgrading and weathering this Athern Roundhouse caboose. This is a model of Rio Grande 01507 in the Mainline Through the Rockies paint scheme. And the real 01507 actually did wear this paint scheme. I found a reference image of it. As you can see, however, there are several glaring differences. For one, the real 01507 had a black roof in comparison with the silver roof that this one had. For another thing, the real 01507 didn't have this chimney. And I believe this image is mirrored because some of these things, like this vent, and this are present, supposedly, uh, on one side of the caboose, but on the model, they're on the other side. <laughs> so, I've got a reference image, but at the same time, I also want to make some upgrades to this caboose while I'm weathering it. For one, it's very lightweight. I don't have a scale, but I'd assume it's... A couple grams. So, I have a weight to add to it. Oh, and you can also see that on the reference image, the trucks are all, the trucks are all, you know, kind of weathered. This image is from Railroad Pictures Archive, if anyone's wondering. So, for the first step, we're just gonna disassemble this caboose. I'm going to set the camera right about here. So I've got my screwdriver. And I'm just going to unscrew the trucks so that when the time comes for me to spray paint the roof, weather the sides, etc., these trucks won't get in the way. And having them separate can also you know, help me weather them separately. It's one truck off. And I'd recommend doing this with a screwdriver that's less gunk covered than mine. Right, that's the trucks off, and, and I believe the chassis might come out, but I don't think it does. I know that this is on just attached by slots, so we can wiggle this part off carefully. Oh, there we go. It was just clipped in. All right. Got the clips on one side out. Now to get the clips on the other side. Come on. We just have one clip left. There we go. Now it's... And that's about as disassembled as it's going to get. And... That's because any further disassembly would require 
taking off small details, and that's not something that I would enjoy doing at all. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye.